I just bought this laptop for only $80 new, and I've been playing AAA games on it streamed from my PC. Can it replace the Steam Deck? Keep watching to find out. Hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is John, and this is Phaser Tech, where I'll be doing tech videos including product reviews, tutorials, and even videos covering my own personal engineering projects. But today, I have a product review on the Evolve 3 Maestro Notebook, which I got for only $80 brand new. And you can get this deal at Micro Center, which I believe is the only place you can get it. To be fair, this is not a direct competitor to the Steam Deck. It simply doesn't have the hardware to actually play modern titles, but if you already have a desktop and you don't mind streaming games, this certainly is a portable solution and an alternative to the Steam Deck. And in my opinion, this laptop truly is a little gem. So I'll start with the good. This laptop comes with an Intel Celeron quad-core CPU that can boost up to 2.1 gigahertz. It comes with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a 64 gigabyte flash drive, and that comes preloaded with Windows 10 out of the box. And here we can see the product page on Micro Center's website and the specs here which I'll note that the DDR4 is actually DDR3, but you'll also notice that this is LTE capable, meaning you can put a SIM card in here and get internet from your cell phone provider. Now, personally, I wiped the drive of Windows and installed Linux, which I would recommend for any laptop anyway, but especially this one with only four gigs of RAM. So another thing to keep in mind if you install Linux is that you'll have to find the Wi-Fi drivers. And I have it here on the screen. Just download this package from GitHub and then follow the directions down below. Um, I tested this with Ubuntu and Arch and I didn't really get it working on Arch. So I think Ubuntu is a better bet if you're going to be installing Linux on this. And overall performance is actually not too bad depending on what you're doing. So obviously this isn't going to be a video editing rig or anything like that. But if you're like me and you have a pretty diverse workload, you'll find that you can get a lot done on this. Um, for example, I use this IDE called VS Codium quite a bit. And, you know, it, it runs. Um, you know, you might notice a little bit of lag here and there, but it's nothing that'll get in the way of work. Uh, compiling code is reasonable. Um, you can see the CPU usage is actually pretty high, but again, this is a really low powered laptop and it doesn't get hot. So it actually has surprisingly good battery life. I've found that it lasts around 10 hours for general use. Even the webcam takes acceptable pictures and videos at 720p resolution. But I wanted to stress the importance of the integrated graphics because even though this is a quad-core CPU, it's only a Celeron, so the cores are not very strong. And having a capable integrated GPU that can do decoding and encoding videos is actually a game changer. And it means any application that can utilize hardware acceleration, you'll see totally usable performance in them. And the CPU will not be bogged down. And as you can see, this is pretty smooth performance. Actually, it's great performance in both The Witcher and Doom streaming from my PC.
Now here's some tips and tricks that you might find helpful in getting the most out of this laptop. So the first thing I would do is go into the BIOS to unlock the CPU power limit. This CPU is so low powered that you should not have any issues unlocking it. The temperatures stay in check for me, but I encourage you to check your temperatures to make sure they stay within limit as well. Doing this change will allow the CPU to maintain an all-core boost of 2.1 GHz. Also, if you don't have any use for the LTE wireless broadband modem, you can remove it and replace it with an M2 SATA SSD. This allows you to upgrade your boot drive to a larger and faster drive while still using the built-in flash as a secondary boot drive. I'll leave a link in the description for the drive I bought. Not only that, but the built-in microSD reader means that you can have up to three separate storage devices in this tiny laptop. Not too shabby. So in case you're wondering the best setup for streaming games to this, I found that using this program called Moonlight gave the smoothest experience, but it only works if you are streaming from a computer that has an NVIDIA GPU. So now, on to the bad. The screen is not too great. The colors are washed out. The resolution is pretty low at only 1364 by 768. Um, the keyboard is not the greatest. Um, I find that I have to hit a few keys fairly hard to get them to register all the time, but it's really not that bad. Also, the speakers are pretty thin, uh, tinny, but the volume's adequate. They can get loud enough to, you know, listen across the room. So here's a quick demonstration to get an idea of their quality and loudness. <laughs> Welcome back to Paul's Tech News. I have returned, as the dragoons say. Now let's talk about ports. On this side, you have a standard headphone jack, a USB 2.0 port, and a micro SD slot. On the other side, we have a SIM card slot, an HDMI, a USB 3.0 port, and the charger port. Also, the HDMI port is not full-sized, it's a mini. Um, I happen to already have an adapter for that, so that wasn't a big deal for me. Um, also, the Wi-Fi is only 2.4 gigahertz, so no 5 gigahertz router support, and it's only a single antenna. Um, so, you know, again, it's only $80. You can't expect a premium experience with this laptop, but at the same time, I mean, everything is usable. You know, it, I guess it depends on your own expectations and past experience, but I found myself getting used to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for future videos where I'll be covering all things tech, including my own engineering projects. I'll be doing tutorials, more product reviews, and other stuff. It's still a very new channel. This is my first video. So I hope to do a lot of fun and interesting stuff. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.